Hi guys, Pax here. Today, we are going to make some crafts. I know it's a little different, but I can hardly get my hands on any cards now. Target's new policy is ruining my brains. And also, pre-orders are not coming in as quickly as they used to. Higher prices, or just getting packs that don't have anything good in them. <sighs> Being a Pokemon collector is so difficult. Why? Well, today, I'm going to be making stress ball. Who doesn't want to squeeze Bulbasaur where his eyes pop out? I saw a squirrel all across the room. <laughs> that felt so good. Well, today, that's what we're going to be making. Let's go! Let's get right into what you need to start and how to make them. First, some regular party balloons. A bottle with flour or rice or something squishy, some sharpies or markers, and the last thing is some paints to really bring the characters to life. Now that we have our supplies, the first step and biggest key to your stress ball feeling good in your hand is to blow up the balloon first Then put it on top of the bottle of flour. Then squeeze the bottle of flour to fill the balloon. Once you reach a size you you like, take the balloon off and release the extra air. Tie the balloon above. Tie the balloon when cut. Then cut off the above the knot to make them smooth, or to not have to worry about the stem or having them bust and making a mess, take a second balloon of the same color, cut the stem off, and cover the other balloon with the second one to hide the knot. Now it's time to decorate your favorite characters on the stress balls. I printed out some pictures for reference by drawing and printing and painting my stress balls. I made was Squirtle, Bulbasaur, Charmander back here, oh, and Pikachu. Those were my four favorite Pokemon characters, especially the Charmander. Charmander! Squishy, squishy. 